What's going on you guys? It's your boy Jay. Uh, sorry for the extra, extra excited opening. I was just thinking like, yo, I haven't put out a video today. And then I said I was going to put one out yesterday and I've been too busy playing Persona, which by the way, I'm live streaming that every, almost, almost every single day. Maybe not tomorrow. I'm not sure. But we'll see. Uh, so yeah, I've been playing a lot of Persona, but today I wanted to sit and talk about Kimietsu no Yaiba, uh, but otherwise known as Demon Slayer. Uh, so I finally have caught up. I was going to live react to this most recent episode uh, in today's video, but I really didn't see uh, a reason to do that. So, um, you know, it just felt like it was a little late and I know people are still asking me for Attack on Titan and people are still asking me for JoJo's and people are still asking me for a uh, shield hero. So those are still coming out eventually. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just do a quick update video that I've been watching it and, you know, have a little bit of a conversation in the comments with you guys, um, as far as you, if you guys are liking it, if you guys are even watching it, um, I know a couple of my friends are reading the manga, uh, Tony actually, who was telling me like, yeah, this, it gets really good, this, that, and the other thing, and he was all, he's also the one who got me into Attack on Titan, um, after season two? Yeah, because I didn't really care for season two, I dropped it midway, and then he was like, no! No, 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 no. Definitely pick it back up. So, Demon Slayer is actually looking really good. Uh, I like the brother-sister dynamic. If you're not familiar with the show, I'm going to try to not spoil a bunch of stuff. Also, at the same time, I'm going to expose myself and bring up uh, the episode guide. Because I literally just finished watching it. I hate that I landed on an episode that was uh, a cliffhanger. Um, because the last two episodes were um not this most recent one but the last two episodes before that nine and, and ten uh really have established that tanjiro and his sister are are you know obviously establishing a bond closer to each other but also the fact that there are good demons out there so they meet this healer chick whose name i can't remember and her assistant or whatever and they end up fighting this this one chick who throws dodgeballs or something or other and they're like razor sharp and like to see him evolve from the first few episodes because in this show he was trashed like he could not defend himself at all but now he is just like at a point where he is god tier bro he he literally sees through enemies like attacks and stuff like that so anyway he and his sister and uh this um you know healer's assistant or whatever those two are demons um they're actually fighting these two who are considered high class demons so they've basically figured out the main guy who who started creating all of these demons and he's able to share the gift uh i say gift because for some people it is for some people it's a curse and a nightmare and all this other stuff but he's able to turn people into demons kind of like a vampire except they're born with this curse thing where basically if they utter his name they explode or, you know, basically they die. Which I think is awesome. Like, I, I like that they showed... I don't want to spoil it, but there has been a character um, in the past two episodes that sh said his name and she was a demon. And, like, this giant... Like, her, she had the ability to, like, get extra arms. So, like, these arms came out of her chest and out of her mouth. And, like... <laughs> and, <laughs> and it was so weird because she was, like, vomiting blood and, like... She just died, and um, it was weird because Tanjiro got a real glimpse of what she was like as a human, at, you know, in her final moments, which you realize that now that these people have turned into demons, they don't really have, like, memory of what they're doing as a demon. They're basically brought up from the moment that they're turned into a demon. After that, they forget everything, and so they're stuck in that state where they were when they were turned. So it's kind of like some vampire shit at this point. Like, it's really, really good. I like how uh, a lot of this stuff is not just exciting to watch, but because I have no idea what's going to go, what's happening or what's going to go on. And it definitely feels like this is one of the shows where the main character can die. Uh, it just kind of hasn't happened yet. He hasn't, like, gotten like lucky enough to die or unlucky enough to die, if that makes any sense. But, like... To see this kid grow and then become a badass who's still getting his ass kicked every like all, every third episode is just really good. So if you guys haven't had a chance to to watch it yet, I'm not sure if it's a 
what I consider a semi-season, which is like 12 episodes. Um, I think it might be because in this most recent episode, they go to this like giant like mansion haunted house thing. And there's like this Oni demon thing that like resides in there. Uh, and he's a basically able to teleport with like these little drums. I think they're like, you know, some, some sort of Japanese traditional drum or whatever. And so he's able to change the environments in the house. So they'll be teleported from one room to the other. And then they also met the boar head guy, uh, who's in the intro. So I'm interested to see where that goes. Um, of course this last episode ended up on a cliffhanger. So I don't know if they conclude the fight. So I will be live reacting to that next week. Um, and then I'll probably do an all over Demon Slayer video, which I guess this kind of is like pseudo, I guess. So I just really wanted to talk about it. And I was like, man, I don't want to film and do an entire live reaction because it takes a long time to produce those videos. I don't know if you guys noticed, but my last few live reactions, I wasn't really happy with them and neither were a lot of people. Like a lot of people had very, very uh, mean and interesting feedback regarding the my editing style, the way I had to do it. But if you're somebody who makes anime content and you show clips of the anime, you would understand that this is kind of how you have to do it. Um, you can't necessarily showcase a full episode of anime. That would be great, but YouTube is not like that anymore. Um, <laughs> nor do I think it's ever been that way. But uh, essentially, I want to continue to share my experiences both with like games, movies, TV shows, anime, all of this stuff that I actually care about with you guys. So every chance I get, uh, I want to share that. So... You know, at some point in time, I'm going to start doing a, a few more movie-based content because I feel like not a lot of people live react to movies that come out the way that we live react to anime. Because obviously when a movie comes out, it's in theaters and all this other stuff. And of course, you can talk about it, you can review it, but there's not really much of a live reaction type of thing. So I think the first one I'm going to do, I'm not sure when it comes out, but I'll probably buy Avengers Endgame. And I, this will be the second time I watch the film. And I know it's going to be re-released in theaters because that just got announced today. Uh, they're really trying to take out Avatar. This, like, was a Demon Slayer video, but now it's becoming, like, an update video. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do that. Uh, and hopefully Disney doesn't, like, block me on everything. So we'll see. I'll test it out there. Um, but, yeah, I'm really enjoying Demon Slayer. Uh, I'm really liking the characters. The art style is amazing it's like watching a, a japanese painting come to life so if you guys haven't been watching it i recommend please going to do that um i unfortunately you know don't really have a any anything else to say other than that it's amazing i wish i could have like more critiques about it but maybe i will when the season is over and i go back and i show clips from every single episode and talk about specific characters that i like so but with that being said um i don't really have anything else to say this is relatively quick relatively fast not a whole lot of uh stuff to really talk about but um yeah i be sure to uh subscribe like all that other stuff let me know your thoughts and opinions and all that stuff down in the comment section um and once again let me reiterate that i am going to be doing a live reaction for demon slayer next week um also attack on titan will be coming back and so will uh shield hero i was thinking about doing one punch man but i'm not really sure only because i'm not liking the way this season is going the last episode that i reviewed um i actually missed two episodes after that and that was when garo was like going after all those karate guys and um yeah so he beat the crap out of them and then i stopped watching after that because i just it was hard to watch because i didn't watch one punch man when it first came out i recently watched all of one punch man just before the second season came out so of course i have this mob psycho 100 type of idea that this show is going to be amazing and the art style and the animation is going to be crisp and beautiful and look like movie level quality and we just kind of didn't get that for this season but if you guys want me to because i know a lot of you guys have been like yo where are the jojo's videos uh the jojo's videos are coming i promise uh i just trying to figure them into the schedule um but expect at least two anime reactions a week I want to kind of alternate them because it is a little difficult to do anime content the way that I do it unless I figure out some kind of way to circumvent the copyright system, um, which I feel like a lot of people don't even care for anyway. It's just an automatic detection system. So 
you know, I'll probably be trying to get into that and then I'll figure out some type of way to uh, not only get around that, but try and give you guys more videos per week. But I do uh, two different shows every other week or every, yeah, every week I do two different shows. So uh, if I'll be doing a Demon Slayer this this week and I'll also be doing a uh, Shield Hero. If not, I'll be doing uh, Attack on Titan. I'll be doing one of those. I'll probably decide after I'm done filming this video. And then next week I'm gonna alternate with the other two. Um, if I decide to do One Punch Man, I'll just swap it out for JoJo's, and then uh, I'll also do Attack on Titan or Demon Slayer, which whichever one comes first. So I'll basically do two, and then alternate and do two different ones the next week, so that way uh, every week I'm live reacting to two episodes. But, uh, you know, we'll give it a shot. Thank you guys for uh, all the support and everything and every single one of you that that becomes a member, you know, sponsors a stream or donates to the Patreon, which is still up, by the way. Um, interacts in Discord, leaves comments, likes, dislikes, all that stuff. I really appreciate you guys. Oh, especially the people that follow me on Twitter. Uh, so uh, if you guys notice, I've been asking a lot of strange questions, and each one of these are for videos, so you guys can expect those going forward. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, uh, turn on notifications, all that good shit. Uh, this has been your boy, Just Jay Sama, everybody's favorite anime uncle. I will catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon.